right, you ready for your next comic? Yeah. He's a very funny lad. Give it up for Corey Stubbs. Corey Stubbs, everybody. Corey Stubbs. Uh, follow the sound. Corey Stubbs. Corey Stubbs, everybody. Kaka. Tookie. All right, Corey Stubbs. See, right there. Hey, how's everybody doing? All right. I'd, uh, I'd like to do some observational humor. Um, don't you hate it when you accidentally brush your teeth with a disposable razor? <laughs> Happens to me a lot. No? You know, breakfast is kind of a bitch. This morning I had a bowl of Lucky Charms and Dr. Pepper because I thought it was milk. Nothing? I have a seeing eye dog, it's a golden retriever, or at least I think it is. <laughs> okay, so I was uh, driving my car down the sidewalk, and uh, I had to go to the store, and uh, uh, when I got to the store, I found this wonderful book written in Braille, so I took it to the cashier, and I said, sir, how much is this book? And he said, sir, that's a basketball. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that's enough, because I'm blind. I, th I thought that would be funny, pretend I'm blind. Well, I have a dog, but my dog, everyone here have a dog, anybody? Dog? I have a dog, my dog does not listen. You know, whenever it wants to come inside, I, I open the door for it and I say, ladies first, and he just runs right on in. He's not a lady. He wasn't listening to me. What am I trying to say there? Um, people with weak bladders have the most car accidents. <laughs> Okay, if, if you think about it, any drink is a manly drink if you give it a manly name, you know? It's like, hey, what's that you're drinking? Yeah. Oh, this? Huh. I just took some pineapple juice, I mixed in some coconut rum, I got some gummy bears at the bottom, and I sprinkled rose petals on top. Oh, what do you call it? Bench press hunting trip? <laughs> Why, what are you drinking? Oh, I call this lumberjack chest hair. <laughs> oh, it sounds fabulous. Okay, when I was in fifth grade, there was a kid in the class named Marco, and every time the teacher did roll call, she would say Marco, and I would say Polo. Yeah, no one laughed back then either. Okay, so here's an interesting story. I was at the I was at the store the other day, and I was buying. Uh, I was looking at DVDs, and this guy walks right in front of me when I'm looking at DVDs, and I'm like, oh, hello, I'm looking at DVDs here, and he says, oh, I'm sorry, I was on my cell phone. Since when did this become a, 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 a social excuse to be a jackass in public? You don't see people blowing through stoplights and then, and then when the cop pulls them over, the cop's like, hey, you know you blew through a stoplight. Oh, sorry, officer, I was on my cell phone. You know? No? Okay, you don't see like people lying in a hospital bed coughing up blood and then when the surgeon walks in, he says, hey, about your appendix? I accidentally took out your kidney because I was on my cell phone during the surgery. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it doesn't okay, fly. I'm, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm a virgin by choice. Not my choice, but the choice of every woman on the planet. <laughs> a good one? You know, I'm horrible when it comes to women. I can't even pick up hookers in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yes. Uh, Oh, did you hear about the time that Fonzie forgot to wear a condom? He got AIDS. <laughs> you know, that's that's the only impression I do. Well, no, 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 I do have another impression. I have one more if you want to hear it. It's it's not as funny, but uh, I'd like to do my impression of me watching Two and a Half Men. Have you ever watched this dog shit of a show? Here's my impression of me watching Two and a Half Men. <laughs> Click. I have a really bad, if you can't tell, I have a really bad short-term memory, because this one time, uh... <laughs> one time I went to a convenience store and they had mood rings. And I thought, oh, how much fun. And I, I, I put one on my finger, and it said that my mood was relaxed. 
Then I realized I couldn't take the, the ring off my finger and my mood changed to frustrated. And then when I had to pay $12 for a ring that doesn't even fit, my mood changed to ripped off. <laughs> uh, sir, what's your name? Cisco. Cisco? If Cisco here was wearing a mood ring right now, I'd say that his mood is confused because ripped off isn't even a mood. <laughs> you know? In fact, if I was still wearing a mood ring right now, it would say that my mood is embarrassed because I'm dragging this joke on way too long and it wasn't even funny to begin with. Okay, um, are you guys familiar with Apple, the Apple products that make the iPod, the iPhone, all that bullshit? These guys are geniuses. They figured out that if you put a little lowercase i in front of the product name, everyone will buy it. You know, they, they got what? Coming out this summer, we have the i plant. <laughs> It plays music and you can water it and it grows. Everyone will buy that shit. And then for what for the holidays, you'll have like people camp down in front of tents for like days, even weeks, waiting for I dog shit to come out. They're like, oh I can't wait for I dog shit to come out. I gotta get me an I dog shit. And they'll be making s'mores, talking to each other. Hey, do you even know what this is? I hear it's just a piece of dog shit. Yeah, but it has an I in front of it, so I gotta get one. <laughs> okay, you guys have been great. That's all my jokes. Cornish <laughs> jobs, everybody. Good idea.